L.R., the liberal redneck here, coming to you from a country that needs to drastically change its attitude about the most underappreciated, underrespected, overworked, and way underpaid group of employees in our nation. Of course, I am talking about those folks that spend the most time with our nation's most precious resource, our children. The crucial part our teachers play in the development of that precious resource cannot be overstated. Yet, instead of being applauded for their efforts, they are usually regarded as second-class professionals. This is gross negligence on our part as a nation and something we must address if our civilization is to continue. Above all else, our children represent what our future as a culture will become, and teachers are the primary developers of what those children will become and how they will deal with that future. Teaching is the only job I know of where you have to work before you get to work so you have work to do at work. Then, because there was no time at work to do work, you have to work after work to catch up on the work you didn't get a chance to do at work. People outside the profession think teaching is all about teaching. In reality, it is about that and so much more, including, but not limited to, supporting students emotionally encouraging students, organizing school activities, assessing students' progress, classroom management, lesson planning, understanding the curriculum, communicating with parents, delivering lessons effectively, and keeping students safe. On top of all this, it is done in an environment best described as micromanagement hell. The teachers are scrutinized by the Board of Education, the school board, the principal, the vice principal, other teachers, the parents, and even their students. In what should be a six-figure job that is normally in the lower five figures. They also have to pay for their own teaching supplies and can't even deduct that expense from their income tax. As a result of all this, a great many teachers are leaving the profession for greener pastures, creating shortages in most school districts around the country. The already limited school budgets are now being attacked by religious fanatics spouting the benefits of charter schools that they claim are a better alternative when in fact they're nothing more than indoctrination centers that use taxpayer money to preach their religious beliefs. We must change our priorities regarding the education of our children or pay a very dear price for the failure to do so. Pay teachers what they deserve. Give schools the funds they need to provide the level of education necessary to enhance our future as a nation. Refuse to give taxpayer money to charter schools. The alternative is unacceptable. Thanks for listening, and remember, always vote blue.